How about a romantic table setting for two? Got a few ideas. You know, sometimes we find ourselves in the doghouse with that special person in our lives and we need to do something to sort of make it up. Maybe you didn't do enough for Valentine's Day or didn't remember Valentine's Day or maybe a special day like a birthday or an anniversary. So this idea is really for those guys out there who may have let something slip. And the idea is to just create a beautiful, warm, comfortable table setting it's very romantic for two. So I started with fire in the fireplace. There's nothing like a warm fire to set the mood. And then what I've done is I've covered the table with these little votive candles. And I've used 20 of them, about 10 on this side and about 10 on that side. Now, sometimes you kind of get clever because you don't have a lot of time. So in this case, if you look at the centerpiece, it's a bowl of apples. But these apples really kind of work with the color scheme I've got going on here. I had these green dishes. I had some green apples in the kitchen. I'm using a brown table, and I actually moved a table downstairs and moved some chairs from the kitchen down here to set this up. So I think when you show that kind of effort to that person who's really special in your life, they really appreciate it. Now look a little closer. You'll see that I've taken some brown paper. I've run it across the table in two ways, bisecting in the center. And this is just uh, painter's paper, the kind of paper that they put down on the floor before they paint uh, trim. I'm just taking a marker and I've gone around here writing characteristics about that person. That they're funny, they're happy. Over here I wrote, you're so perfect. And over here, rather than saying, I'm lucky, I'm gonna say, I'm so lucky. Those little things make a big difference. So just draw all kinds of things on here. I'm doing little hearts. If they're funny sayings that you both share, you might write those down. And what happens is this becomes a little keepsake. It's almost like a card that you give them at the end of the evening. And then you wanna make sure that you have a nice bottle of wine, maybe two. And in this case, what I've done is I've taken the same napkin that I had and I just used it to wrap the bottle of wine. Now, to make the evening even more special, if you can prepare the meal, what's great about this table setting is that you can get it set up well ahead of time, and all you really have to do is just light the candles. You don't have to worry about flowers because we use the apples, and they're gonna stay fresh for a long time. So if you found this tip helpful on getting yourself out of the doghouse, tell a friend about it. Make sure you subscribe to eHow Home.